Your selfies are showing your true self, and it's not a good thing. How many how many selfies do you think you put up? Uh, like, let's say a year, TJ. Not that many. Yeah. I'm still, I'm doing like a selfie is you holding yeah, the camera. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And so. it's like looking down on your big yeah. dumb face. Yeah. I actually really cut down on those type of selfies. I still post the photos of like, just me. Because I'm selfish. <laughs> and if you if you see an account that's just like pure selfies, just like a mm. girl or a guy, just all selfies, what do you immediately think? See, I it didn't really bug me that much. Mm-hmm. Because I was just like, oh, whatever. I didn't really read into it too too much, but now that you bring it up, it is a little bit narcissistic. Well, thankfully, researchers, our sweet researchers, have looked into it, and it actually shows that people who have a lot of selfies or are constantly taking selfies, constantly working on their selfies, are actually more insecure, and the selfies are making you look more insecure. So when you look at somebody's feed and you see these, you always think, ah, they're probably, you know, kind of like full of themselves. It's actually the opposite. Uh, A study found that those who show, uh, who posted more photos, more Pose photos of themselves taken by uh, taken by others. Like, let's say you know me and you are hiking, and I take a picture of you. Why would we ever be hiking? I, that's the first problem. Let's say we go to the bar. More accurate. More realistic. Uh, I take a picture of you. Those are called posies, <laughs> and that actually shows that you're more adventurous. You're always out and about. I mean, not necessarily the bar, but let's say we went to a hi- uh, on a hike. But folks who put on uh, on selfies on their feet are actually more insecure, which does make sense. Now, you're looking for validation, right? So this is just your feed. This is just your feed, yeah. Because I know my girlfriend and I, and I know a lot of couples do this. I, we send outfit of the day pictures to each other. That's normal, right? Yeah, that's fine. Like every day, we'll send each other like a mirror selfie where it's yeah. like, here's my outfit today. And you then, guys are new. And she leaves me on red. That's fine. <laughs> she leaves me on red. My girlfriend's currently uh, on a cruise with her mom, and she's been like sending me little pictures, like little pictures of her face in the morning, and it makes me happy. But like that, that's okay. That's healthy. But if you're constantly, and you know those folks that are, it's like just yeah. feeds of just their entire feed is, is selfies. Like it, it actually sign shows that you're more insecure because you are looking for validations, and, and that's actually, I mean, a reason why uh, Instagram took off the like option, right? Like you yeah. can't see people's likes. You know what I think, by the way. Here's my hot take for Instagram, they're eventually going to take away comments. They're going to try that out, I think. Mm-mm. You don't think so? Because you already have the option to turn your comments off, right? Ooh, that's fair. Yeah, so it, it's kind of up to you. And also, if you took away the comments, would you, like, what would Instagram be for? I guess just a photography feed? Yeah. Yeah. It's They're taking away our fun slowly. Then you would have to think about how narcissistic someone looks when they post a bunch of selfies instead of commenting, oh my God, you look so great. If comments were taken away, TJ, how would I be able to put emojis on your pictures? Like the upside Jack's, down smile? To quote the prophet Jeff Goldblum in the masterpiece Jurassic Park. Oh my God. Nature uh, finds a way. <laughs> where, where do you dig these up? Jurassic Park. 